This is what is called as Kula Devat. It responds only to that genetic content. So only those people of that cl clan go to the temple, a certain set of people have a certain samskara, others have certain samskara. So for them, those skills and that way of life came naturally. Every community, every society has its own samskara and people either make their lives well or ill based on the samskara also. See, what we are calling a samskara is the collective karma of a society. In this culture, we did lot of things to maintain samskara. Even now in villages, there are, you know, sometimes violent outbreaks will happen. If marriages happen between people who will mix the genetic, who will uh, kind of make the genetic line fuzzy, this is not blue blood business. They've been maintaining this so that for this clan, for this bloodline, they will have a deity that they have created. It responds only to that genetic content. This is what is called as Kula Devat. It responds only to that genetic content. So only those people of that cl clan go to the temple, others don't go because it doesn't work for them. So they maintain this genetic map of people and they will look back ten, twelve generations and say, oh, she belongs to that uh, bloodline, this belongs to… okay, they can marry, this cannot marry, like this they will calculate because these are called gotras and stuff. Now it is being all trashed as total nonsense. Yes, cruel things have been done in that name, that is true, but there was a, a very profound understanding because learning happened this way. When there were no universities, no schools, nothing, this culture transmitted their skills effortlessly for thousands of years because they maintained this samskara. So, let's say for example, you know, there are uh, what is called as acharis. It's a certain caste or a clan. In this, there are goldsmiths, there are carpenters, there are blacksmiths like this, all those people who are craftsmen. But a goldsmith's girl will not marry a blacksmith's man. Only there they will marry because it is samskara. See, this may look, uh, oh, how can that be? Why can't uh, somebody, uh, you know, uh, bo be born in any family, learn this trade? That's different. But it's been found, they've done an experiment with mice. What they did was, they put a cherry blossom smell for on some cheese or something. So when their mouse went to bite it, they gave it an electric shock a few times. And you know what? Next seven generation of mice never went near the cherry blossom smell. Cherry blossom smell means they move away because this is samskara that from parents, it is coming just like that. This information transfer is happening all the time. Now we are talking about how trees are sharing things. All this when we spoke long time ago, they thought it's all ridiculous. Like my great-grandmother would simply look at, uh, you know, sparrows and ants and this eating and simply in tears. And uh, if you say, why are you not eating? She says, I'm already full. And she was full. She was well nourished. Nobody can question that because she lived for one, one, three. So, today they're slowly beginning to talk about it, but still in terms of physical terms, how physically nu nutrition is going, this is happening, this is being shared, that is being shared, all this. But beyond physical stuff, there is life in which sharing is happening. So they created a very concentrated focus on people so that there is a samskara. A certain set of people have a certain samskara. Others have certain samskara. So for them, those skills and that way of life came naturally. All these things got distorted when people started discriminating from one to the other, the goldsmith thinks he's superior to blacksmith, and you know, these problems came later. But the way it was crafted, it's a perfect way to tra transmit knowledge, skills and variety of uh, ways. But it all gone bad, now it's not relevant, we can't do that anyway. So, 
what you call a samskara is a social karma. And let's say living in Mumbai, don't you have a certain Mumbai samskara? Isn't it? It, it has its own. So like this, every community, every society has its own samskara and people either make their lives well or ill based on the samskara also. To rise above samskara, you need spiritual process. Otherwise, nobody can deny that they have not been influenced by their family, society, uh, whatever kind of religious practices. They may not be doing those practices, but still they're influenced, isn't it? Only one who is strongly on a spiritual process is not influenced by the atmosphere. He… he rises above that.